Hello and welcome to In All Our Doings, a confession, catechism, creed and collect, brought to you daily by Anglican Futures. And may I take this opportunity to wish all our listeners a very happy Christmas. We begin with confession. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins, and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's question from the Anglican Catechism to be a Christian, is, what resulted from the ascension? To which the answer is given, Jesus ascended into heaven, so that through him, his Father might send us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit, Christians together are united to Christ, the living head of his body, the Church. Therefore, today's Bible reading comes from Acts, chapter 2, beginning at verse 32. This Jesus God raised up, and of that we are all witnesses, being therefore exalted at the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured out this, that you yourselves are seeing and hearing. For David did not ascend into the heavens, but he himself says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. This is the word of the Lord. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Today's Collect Almighty God, you have given your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him, and to be born this day of a pure virgin. Grant that we who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the same Spirit be honour and glory, now and for ever. Amen. Go before us, O Lord, in all our doings, with your most gracious favour, and further us with your continual help, that in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name. And finally, through your mercy, obtain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you have found this episode of In All Our Doings helpful, why not like it, share it with friends and family, or subscribe to the podcast? If you have any thoughts or questions about today's episode, please leave a comment or contact us through our website, www.anglicanfutures.org. Bible readings are taken from the English Standard Version and the Catechism from To Be a Christian, both with permission from Crossway. The liturgy comes from the ACNA Book of Common Prayer, 2019.